Hello and welcome to the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists series of online support tutorial videos. This is the first in the series of videos we have compiled to assist you with doing your Expo project. In this video, we will introduce you to the 13 Expo categories and subcategories. Now that you have an idea or topic, you must think about the category your research will fall under. Identifying the category at the beginning of your research will guide you, help you take the correct approach, and use the appropriate method. You must however note that as you proceed, you may decide to change your category depending on the direction your research takes. Selecting the correct category also helps us to find you the most appropriate judge for your project. Before we introduce the 13 Expo categories, let's have a look at the four types of projects typically found at Expo. Firstly, scientific investigations are usually your experiments where there is a cause and effect. These projects often follow the scientific investigative method. Second, engineering and computer science projects involve designing, building, testing, and evaluating systems, solutions, and prototypes. Third, Mathematics projects involve problem solving, theorizing, and proofs. New and creative methods, solutions, and ways of explaining the complex world of quantities, such as numbers, structures, space, and change, are explored. Theoretical projects involve a logical exploration of ideas and systems of beliefs and assumptions. And finally, social sciences is the study of humans, their behavior, interpersonal relationships, institutions, and functioning within society. These four types of projects can be subdivided into 13 Expo categories. These are the 13 Expo categories. You must select only one category from this list. If your project cuts across more than one category, ask yourself in which field the bulk of the research and data collection are. Each of these categories are made up of subcategories. The Agricultural Sciences category involves the study of farming methods used to raise and take care of plants and animals, such as livestock and wildlife. This category is subdivided into three smaller topics. These topics are animal husbandry, this is concerned with livestock animals that are raised for meat, fiber, milk, eggs and other products. Aquaculture is the farming of aquatic organisms, including fish, mollusks, crustaceans, and plants in controlled aquatic environments. Crop sciences is the study of food crops. These are the subcategories in our second category, which is animal sciences. This is the study of animals. The biomedical and medical sciences cover medical-related topics, such as illnesses and healthcare for humans and animals. The chemistry and biochemistry category has five subcategories. The computer sciences and software development category deals with data management, data sciences, networking and software systems. The sixth category is earth sciences and the subcategories deal with various aspects related to the study of the earth. The seventh category covers all energy-related projects. Energy productivity deals with energy usage. Renewable energy focuses on green energy, such as solar and hydropower. And non-renewable energy focuses on energy sources that cannot be renewed once it is depleted, such as coal. The engineering category covers the practical application of scientific principles involving the building, designing, and testing of systems and solutions. There are six subcategories for the engineering category. Our next expo category is the environmental studies. This category deals with the components, process, and preservation of nature and looks at human interactions with the environment in interest to solve complex problems. This category is divided into six subcategories. The 
study of quantities, structures, space and change involves our mathematics category. Statistics is the branch of mathematics that deals with the collection, analysis, interpretation and presentation of numerical data. Probability is the mathematical representation of the likelihood of an event occurring. The subcategories for mathematics are algebra, game theory, geometry, number theory, statistics and probability. The following subcategories make up the plant sciences category, which is the study of plants. Aquatic plants, botany, plant genetics, plant pathology, and plant physiology. The twelfth expo category, physics, astronomy, and space sciences, is the study of matter, energy, motion, and forces. Astronomy and space sciences is the study of the universe and beyond, including its origins and the properties of objects in space. Lastly, our thirteenth category covers social sciences research, such as anthropology, education studies, human behavior, human settlements, and psychology. For detailed descriptions of the thirteen categories and subcategories, you must visit our website, www.exposcience.co.za. Look under the Resources tab for templates and materials, all designed to help you do your Expo project. The Expo categories and subcategories can also give you ideas on what to research. We hope this video has helped you understand the 13 categories and their subcategories. Keep watching this space. The next video will help you identify potential ethics risks in your research and guides you on what procedures to follow.